Okay, before I get too far ahead of myself, this is elk meat. Uh, there were two pieces like this. One was thicker. This one was thicker one. I cut it into slices. My wife uh, doesn't trust the videos I'm watching saying only cook it to 120 degrees or else it gets tough. So believe it or not, I, I'm seasoning both exactly the same. I've started off already on the one side with, what is this here? Garlic and onion. Okay. I'm going to do both sides of everything that I'm doing here. Okay. And then I'm going to put on onion, salt. And uh, uh, remember, and this one here, it says... Uh, smoldering smoked apple wood so I always I always say this in my cooking videos a recipe is only a suggestion and uh, so as far as seasonings go use whatever you want um, the point is these smaller pieces are going in the air fryer this one here I'm doing on the uh, stove stove top in a pan and um, uh, so we're going to see how they play out. I've never cooked elk before. I've had it before. My brother-in-law made some, and it was absolutely fantastic from what I remember. It was many, many years ago. But we're going to try this out and see how it plays out. That was the oven because I it's preheated to... Uh, cook the potatoes okay just putting some of this on lots actually <laughs> hey man want some flavor right so I'm gonna rub that in oh a little bit of garlic salt like I said it's hard to do this with uh, one one hand holding the camera the other one holding the stuff I don't want it too salty. I'm not a fan of salt, so I'm just going to sprinkle this a little bit because it's going on both sides. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to rub that in and then wash my hands and flip it over and do the other side. Okay. Okay, this is side two. I'm going to rub that in, wash my hands, and then prepare it for the air fryer. I was only in three minutes on one side and it said on the video to three minutes on each side and then turn it right down. I got it at uh, seven right now. And it's sure messy. Put that olive oil in there. While the spices are making it pop, I guess. I forgot to, this is the air fryer uh, portion of the uh, elk steak it's actually pretty tasty pretty good it cooked pretty quick um, the other one that's in the frying pan it's still very red in the middle and I don't like my meat red and bloody so I, I've already turned it off it's been cooking for quite a while I've turned it off and I'm going to slice it into smaller pieces and cook it in the and brown it in the uh, air fryer. But it is really tasty. Right, Nutch? Yeah, right. Really tasty. Really tasty. tasty. Okay, after cooking on the pan for quite a while, it got quite dark on the outside, but at 120 degrees where everybody is. Uh, saying take it off and there's no way I'm eating that red meat at that that's just me so I'm going to air fry it because we air fried some like I showed earlier in the video and it was quite delicious but that was air fried right from raw this was already pre-cooked the outside edges and now I'm just going to uh, brown it and hopefully it doesn't make it too tough I'll get back to you on that
Okay, that was another six minutes in the air fryer, and it's delicious. It's tender still, it's not tough, and it's uh, cooked right through. Okay, let me see. I cut a piece off. I'll see if you can see that. See? Little bit of pink, but that one is it's neat. It's not running blood. That's what I don't like. So. Wow, look yummy. Yeah, it's good. It's look yummy. You want to try a piece? Yeah, look yummy. Here, I'll cut you a piece off. If you're enjoying my cooking videos, I appreciate uh, a thumbs up and a subscribe if you don't mind. Uh, if you want to see some more, feel free to click over here or maybe over here, uh, depending on <laughs> where the videos show up. Uh, I also have content about my travels to Thailand and Vietnam. Thanks for your time and attention to this one, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. I'm out.